Welcome back everyone, today we'll be tearing apart the Sony XB33. As usual, I'll be using my handy dandy husky precision tool. The first thing we're going to do is gently pry it open the opening of this fabric grill cover. Once you have both ends pried open, the grill should fold up and comes off easily. This grill is made of some durable and flexible plastic and was able to withstand a lot of the bend and pressure that I put it through. Alright, let's put it aside and let's take a quick look at the speaker. We have here the control on the top and the charging port on the back. You will also notice this metal black plate. Removing this plate will expose you to the battery pack. Let's open the speaker up by removing the front frame. It is held down by 8 screws that we must remove. Once the screws are removed, the front frame will come right off. We will have to remove the connection for the two drivers, the front light, and the microphone. The two drivers are held down by four screws each that we will need to remove. Unlike the traditional circular diaphragm driver that are more common, this X-Balance driver has oval-shaped diaphragm that help the speaker attain high quality sound and a powerful sound pressure for a richer and deeper experience. Here we have two front LED light that lights up to the beat of the music. It is glued onto the frame so I'm just going to leave it there. We also have the microphone that is glued onto the corner here. Okay, let's look at the main speaker enclosure. In order to remove the passive radio frame, there's two screws on the inside here that we will need to remove first. Once the screws are removed, we will gently pry these four tabs in order to remove the passive radiator frame. The frame here is made of some rubberized hard plastic material designed to help protect the passive radiator and to help the speaker absorb shock, knocks, bumps, and drops that comes with everyday use. Here we have the passive radiator that are tightly glued onto the end of the speaker. This layout has been optimized to reproduce the best clear bass sound. I will not be removing these as I do not want to destroy my speaker just yet. Next, we're going to remove the internal frame that hold the motherboard and the battery. In order to do this, we will be removing these six screws. I'm not necessarily sure if this back plate must be removed, but I'm going to remove it anyway to show you the battery from the back end. This plate is held on by four screws. Once it is removed, you will see this nice rubber seal that helps prevent water from getting to the speaker. Before we can remove the internal frame, there are also three hidden screws on the body of the speaker that will need to be removed. These are secretly covered up by this black sticker foam. With the three screws removed, there are also two tabs that we will need to gently pry it open to release the internal component. Once everything is removed, the internal component just come right out. Here's a quick look at the bare bone structure of the XB33 speaker. Here we have the motherboard which is held on by two screws. This is the heart of the speaker and contains all the main control button as well as the NFC chip.
Here we have the charging board. It contains a 5 volt USB out, the USB C input, and 3 the button for the light, the battery status, party mode, and the stereo pairing. Next, we have these two LED lights that lights up, change color, and beat to the music. They are glued onto there, so we'll just leave it alone. Here we have the battery, which is glued tightly onto the compartment. This is a 2700 million battery that provides up to 24 hours of battery life and 14 hours with the extra base turned on. I hope you guys find this Terion useful. Whether you need it to help you repair your XB33 or just want to see the internal component of the speaker. There will be many more videos like this coming soon, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to be notified when my next video is out. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.